Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This reading is for October 9th through the 15th. It goes Sunday through Saturday for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. You might watch all three of those to get more insight into the energies coming in for you this week. Um, they're general readings, so take them as they resonate. And I'm going to begin with an oracle to get the underlying theme. And uh, we're out. This is already coming up on mid-October. I am contemplating doing a live Halloween collective. Um, if you're interested in that, leave me a comment and let me know. And if you like the reading, uh, hit that like button, share it with your friends. And again, you can leave me a comment. Um, you can also subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. Or you can hit that notification bell. Let's see, please, what Spirit has for Taurus for the week of October 9th through 15th. What do we have, please? October 9th through 15th. Okay, here we go. We have well-being, self-preservation, Service to spirit, youthful experience. Are you um, spending time in self-care? Are your needs being met? Okay. Um, or are you allowing yourself to be drained? Um, are there um, demands, perhaps, that are just too much for you? Perhaps you need to release a little bit. Take care of you your well-being, your health, your spirit, every aspect of your well-being. Take the time for that self-care. Let's see what we have for Sunday, please, for Taurus. Sunday, the Nine of Swords. Yes, caught up in that worry. Um, let that go. Be willing to release uh, the worry. Those thoughts keeping you up at night, those thoughts, um, those messages coming in, but the mind chatter that says you can't do it, you're not good enough, you have to push harder, you have to do this, you have to do that. Perhaps you're pushing too hard here, so much so that you're neglecting your self-care. Okay, it's time to release that. It's time to step into self-care. Release the worry pushing any negativity. What do we have on uh, Monday? Yeah, no, too many cards, sorry. I need to learn how to shuffle. There we go. What do we have for Monday, please? Again, I'm just not... These are upright, though. Well, it's funny that they are all... The Chariot, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Coins. Okay, um, you know what? <laughs> yes, look. Get out of the worry. Take care of yourself. Move forward. The opportunity is presenting itself for you to move forward. Things are being laid out for you. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, look at this. And the opportunity is coming in for you. Um, with all this root chakra, I would suggest if you are into crystals carrying around um, something like red jasper is a good one. Uh, hematite is a good grounding stone as well. Um, but I see the opportunity coming in for you to move forward. Things, your path here being laid out for you by creator universe. Okay. The, illuminating the path for you, laying each step out before you so that you can move forward. Um, this is an opportunity for you to plant seeds um, to toward your security, your future, your success. Let's see what we have here on Thursday. Thursday, please, Spirit. The Nine of Cups, finding that inner fulfillment, 
whatever's coming in, whatever direction you're being led, this is where your passions lie. This is bringing you that inner fulfillment. A lot of lower chakra energy here. So I really strongly suggest the um, red jasper. Uh, let's see. Friday, please. The Five of Swords on Friday. Okay, some sort of mental challenge here. You've come all this way. Is there um, the temptation to go back to this worry? Perhaps conflicting thoughts or ideas, believing you're not worthy, you're not good enough, you can't do it. Um, defeat those thought patterns that get in the way, that cause you conflict, that keep you from moving forward. This is an opportunity, um, a very good one by the look of it, for you um, to pursue that um, inner fulfillment, that success. Let me see. Success through inner fulfillment. It's not just a successful job that's going to bring you a lot of money. This is something that fulfills you. This is something that you desire in your heart. It's something you're passionate about. Don't allow that mental chatter, those thoughts, to deter you, to stand in your way. Remove those. Overcome those challenges. Yes, gain the clarity and move. Take the action that you need. Don't allow those things to hold you back. Continue to move forward. Um, you're gaining the insight that you need, the clarity that you need to take action. Keep moving forward. All right, let's see what we have in closing. Keep taking that intelligent action and make sure that you are attending to you, your, your own needs, that self-care, okay? All right, what do we have in closing, please? Focus your light, listen for a message that opportunity is coming in. Focus your, your intention, your attention on the goal. This, what is taking place? What is bringing you this fulfillment? What are you moving toward? Don't allow these challenges to hold you back. Focus on the intention and take that necessary action. All right, let's Oh, a room here. Okay, we have Urus. That's funny. I had Urus for Aries as well. Um, maybe this is going to be a week of needing to tap into that inner strength, that resiliency uh, that we have within us. If we would only dig deep down and pull it up, have courage to step forward, to take the action. Tap into that inner strength, that power, that energy, that creative force, and move forward. This is what I have for you, Taurus. Have a blessed week. And don't forget, if you are interested in me doing the live collective for Halloween, drop me a note and say so in the comments. Thank you so much.